One more. We're doing one more recording session. Hi, Trish. What's up, Anon? How's my favorite spirit trucker doing? Was that supposed to be endearing? So much hacks. Jesus Christ, did a lore commentary here. Trish sure is in a good mood today. Now that's a fucking scary state of affairs. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, okay. We stand around for a bit after that. I never walked in on the school, so I know it is like a protocol to follow or something. So, like, let's go? Sure. My feet hurt. I'm sweating. Trish is too close to me. People can see us now. My walking pace is uneven. Should I be looking at her or face forward? This is so complicated. On top of everything, she keeps asking me all these questions. I was living in skin... That's not how I write skin... It's okay. You moved around like a month ago, yeah? Yes. Keep all my answers short. I'm afraid I'll let something slip and reveal my power level if she keeps going. What does the power level mean? Because I've seen it a bunch of times, but I can't ignore it. What does the exact definition mean? Right. Let me, let me call it Urban Dictionary. Because I know what it refers to, right? But I don't know the context. Because it keeps getting thrown around. It's usually... Oh, here we go. It's usually is in the context of keeping it a secret from others. Huh. Oh, it refers to the fact that one reads anime or or watches watches anime or reads manga. Uh, a level of confidence, prowess, particularly with the opposite sex game. Oh, okay, so it can mean a bunch of stuff. I've never realized just how long ten minutes can take. Uh, we share last period, right? <coughs> I think. All I can focus on is the school building at the end of the street. I'm so desperate to get there that I don't even know if Trish is disappearing from my side. Huh? Why'd you stop? Uh, Trish? What is your problem? Uh, what you mean? I'm trying to start a conversation here. It's not not like you care. Uh, well, well we've been, uh, uh c conversing. Listen, buddy. I can help you with that, probably. Yeah, right. What the fuck is her problem? Like, I have no idea. Uh. Wait, Anon, are you trying to tell me you've never talked to a girl before? Like, for real? Well, I, uh... Why did you transfer her anyway? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think you fully understand. That I, I just noticed that we're getting a choice, and the first thing I noticed about this is that this choice does something I didn't even know you could do. You can actually... That's pretty neat. But... But... I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm keeping the script here, just in case something fucking weird happens, but... <laughs> Why'd you transfer anyway? Uh... Uh, that's all it does. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking great. Run! Uh, mm. Whoops, would you look at the time? Would look at the love to talk to but I get the class. Bye! <laughs> Man, he just fucks off. Wait, Anon. I want to kiss you. Smooch. That could not have gone worse. Good thing I don't have to see Trish until... Oh, that's probably why the background for Anna Knight failed. Because it's also looking for a PNG. Good thing I don't have to see Trish until last week. There's lunch. Yeah. Thanks to my unmatched skills of stealth, I managed to evade her in the hallways. At least until lunch period. Oh, God damn it! Stop that, OBS. Shrink. Small. So I can do this, and I can keep track of my recording time. Yeah, Canon Anon seems to have issues touching girls and being near them, but he can sort of compartmentalize the problem, right? Like, he talks to Fang pretty easily when he thinks Fang is a girl. Uh, with Naomi, it's the hand-holding that does it, and it's like, oh, no, she has a boyfriend, don't worry about it. You know, like, he's not that bothered by it. He mostly gets a stiffy from Fang, because, you know, hot tarot girlfriend, can't really ignore that. I'd be impressed. Thanks to my unmatched skills of stealth, 
and I managed to evade her in the hallways, too, at least until lunch period rolled around. Meaning I've been hiding in the men's toilet. They, afraid of becoming a target in the cafeteria, I opt for a walk in the gardens. Unexpectedly, though, I'm not alone out here. There's a girl tending to the flowers. They're all trampled and stuff. Huge trunks of nearby bushes have been removed. That's the spot where Fang fell, I think. But weren't the gardens on the back? Ah, whatever. I don't even know how the fucking school looks. The girl looks familiar. No, I can't place... Why didn't they replace the garden at any other opportunity? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, right. She's one of the girls on Mark Down as Trisha's friend. Going to a social media media profile. Media? Media profile. She's in the gardening club. I think she's also the same dino Trish met this morning. Well, I'm glad that we did an Alexa search because we got some bonus text. Might as well go talk to her. Perhaps I can have a normal conversation today. Oh, that's why the choice thing was so fucking doofy, wasn't it? Ugh. I'm high. Hello, human that I've never met before. Uh, yeah, right. My name is Anon. And they call me Stella. Oh, they? Uh-huh. Are you incontinent? Right. So, what are you doing out here? It's lunch period. Oh, I know. I'm here to collect the last of Fang's feathers from under the bushes. That is, ex That should not be your job. That's biohazard. Someone else should have done that already. Like the cops. For evidence or body disposal. Holy shit, they made a student do that? What's wrong with the school? No, I volunteered. This shouldn't be something you can volunteer to either. Shit, did I say that out loud? Sorry, but... Why? This way I'll be able to commune with her spirit. Why aren't you upset with talking to this girl? Stella is explicitly a woman. <laughs> Fucking clown. Right. Yeah, the dialogue's a bit weird. And then it's only so dismissive. And Stella is not this fucking weird about it before. I mean to do a lot of it earlier, but the meanies from the police wouldn't let me come in until the school reopened. Spears gave me the go-ahead, though, so here I am. What? <sighs> this is a rare enough thing, what I'm about to do. He doesn't need to take charge of the conversation before the last few brain cells commit suicide. So, you know Fang? In a way. Meaning? Uh, I've had to oversee her many times in detention. We were uh, on good enough terms, I think. Huh. Hey, you weren't especially sad about her passing? Oh, and on death is but another door. Fuck off. Uh huh, right. Let's get back to the not stupid waters. So, you know Trish as well? Sure do. Alright, it's confirmed then. So, like, what now? Uh. You a friend of Trish? Yes. Oh, it's her. Are you a friend of Trish? Uh, I guess. Why? Could you please do me a favor, then? <sighs> sure. Yay! I knew I could count on you. I knew I could could on you. You know, I make that mistake a lot, too. But usually Google yells at me, and I catch this mistake far before I actually do my first editing draft. Eh, sometimes it sneaks in, but I usually catch it on the second one. Because of... What's the favor? And... Um, it's two favors, actually. Oh, great. Let's hear them. Trish is, uh, going through a lot now. I'm sure you know. But she's super caring for her friends. However, bad checks, don't get upset with her. Listen, I was looking for the femdom version of her that shows up in ending one where she's like, I'm gonna make something out of you, Anon. You know. One where we get to become close friends with her boots. Death is but a door, time is but a window, I'll be... <laughs> Fuck, ah, Why? Like, just on the off chance she decides to beat me bloody, I should know that it's a carrying readjustment of internal organs. Because after our fight this morning, that's what I'm expecting. Uh... Like, the obvious answer. Right? The obvious answer is to stick it over there. Right, right, right. We're all on the same table here. We're all on the same fucking... <laughs> we should probably take those feathers away from her, too. Like, you know... Probably shouldn't let her keep that. <laughs> I'll try...
That'll also look through my answer, but she doesn't know I get the point. Could you also give her one of these feathers? She still holds out a handful of monochrome. They're white or silvery, Anon. They're not monochromatic. They have one color that's technically monochromatic, but monochromatic refers to something that is only one shade of color, from black to white and the color in between. These are not monochromatic. They are one color. Like, Fang's feathers are explicitly just white. Wow. She wasn't kidding. This is some heavy stuff. Feathers come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Some of them are broken, missing large parts of their bodies. Just look up the fucking... Okay, let me, let, me, let me tell you this, right? Feathers have an anatomy, and you can, you can use that anatomy to describe them. The center part is called... The, the bottom part is called the quill. The center is called the shaft. The barbs are the little pokey bits that stick out. The bottom part, where it all fluffs out, that's called the after shaft or the after feather. And the whole feathery part is called the vein. Use terminology, it takes five seconds to look this shit up on Wikipedia. I literally did it just now. Some of them are broken and missing large parts of their veins. Others look completely fine with snapped quills. To commune with the spirit, huh? I shunned the idea earlier, but now looking at the literal pieces of fangs, but it's fucking gross. Like you're holding someone's haircut. Or like a fingernail, buddy. Like, feathers, are they are they made of like stuff that's made out of the nails are made out of? Because they're pretty much in close areas. Uh, the beak, the beta keratin in feathers, beaks, claws, and the claws and scale. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. It's, it's like the keratin in your nails and hair, but harder. So yes, Anon, you are holding a goddamn pluck of feather, of hair in your hand. Ew. Some wikis say blue, others say white, others say gray. Uh, just, no, I'm talking like Fang's fa like Fang's base body color is like this cyan, very light bluish color. Uh, but Fang's feathers, I think, are explicitly just gray. Let me let me pull up a render on the the, the volcano high. Uh, okay, because like on the volcano high wiki, they have like renders which are completely unfiltered and stuff, and I can just sample the color and then I can go into the color swatch and it can tell me. So yeah, no, no, Fang is actually like, uh, huh. So, Fang's base color is actually a really faded greenish blue. More green than blue. Um, Fang's hair, I think, should be an explicit just gray. No, it's very slightly a bluish gray. Uh, the horn bits are very much a weird in between color, in between the blue and the gray. That's explicitly a cyan. So, yes, Fang is a bunch of weird green bluish grays, but it's extremely faded. We're talking like over 200 value. I call it white, though. It's pretty much there. Actually, how... Okay, so th this is obviously, like, the, 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 the blue stripes are, like, obviously the most colored part of her, of them. Uh, even that on the HSV scale is still, yeah, almost 200 hue. Very low, like 20 saturation. It's not much. Fang is an extremely faded design. I shown the idea earlier. And she's also technically not monochromatic. The shades on her body, feathers, hair, and the stripes are all slightly different hues, colors. They're just very faded, so you don't see as easily. But they are technically different, so she's not monochromatic. I've shown the idea earlier, but now, looking at the literal pieces of Fang's body. Even with her gone and buried in some cemetery, I can still just reach out and touch her. It's a weird feeling. I take one of the nicer-looking feathers from Stella, assuring her that I'll get... You get it to Trish on her path. This does not work with how much of a shitposting fucker he's been earlier. Like, you can't do this. You can't fucking do this. The tonal dissonance is all over the place. The bell rings not long after, so we go to our respective classes. Not that I could pay a lot of attention to the teacher. The knowledge of that feather in my pocket lays heavy on me for the rest of the day. And even though I haven't known Fang for that long, we haven't shared one positive memory. I, uh, for the first time, I feel like I'm... No, you're not. The finality of the situation... No, you're not! From my perspective, Fang came and went. I mean, like in, in the in the canon timeline, you can pick up a whole bunch of feathers off that rooftop, buddy. From my perspective, Fang came and went. It wasn't a big deal. But for everyone else, for friends and family, and most of all, it was a constant that was just gone now. It was never coming back. The sight of Chris trying a hard out on the sidewalk flashes before my eyes. You've been too dismissive for this to work. Like, you can't just have one scene, right? You, you use this scene, and then you have the moment where you realize it, and then you do the payoff. Right? That's how it works. You put the wedge in, you hammer the wedge, and then you have a break apart. You can't just do a turnaround. You fucking face turn. 
Especially if you've been such a fucking memer who can't talk to girls and talks to Stella just fine. <laughs> At the time, I thought she was overreacting. But now I'm starting to understand the magnitude of a loss. No, you don't. You've never had friends, fucker. You don't even know what it's like. To the point you don't even have friends right now. Shit. Maybe the best friends, haven't they? I should have figured out doing this. Like, this should have come up when he's been talking to her for a while, and she keeps bringing up Fang. Like, every conversation is, at some point, is like, oh, I remember when Fang did this, Fang did this, so that we really get the idea of, like, Trish can't get Fang out of her head. She must have bent a lot. No. We just have, I find a feather. That's some random person. I it may or may... <sighs> like, if you're not gonna use the... <sighs> should have figured out that a smile during our walk wasn't real. I like a... <sighs> Probably went to great lengths to fake that. Why? For me? Or just in general? In any case, I should apologize uh, for being a spur. No, you're still a spur, you, bitty, you idiot. Like Stella said, she was going through enough as it is. She doesn't need me being a weight on top of that. Scary Dave, thank you for pointing something out. So prom, I've been told, happens after graduation. Which means, yes, why the hell are they in school? Let me Let me look this up. Uh, prom when graduation. Okay, I'm going to find it in YouTube. How long is between prom and graduation? Prom usually occurs at the end of the school year, often a few weeks before graduation. Now, that means... Oh, here we go. Graduation ceremonies usually all the of college and typically take place after the finals exams. Odds are, as Fong's when finals. That's the the prom of the finals. I don't know. But I think, like, if it's a few weeks... You probably already know if you're graduating or not, you know. Odds are people. I, I personally like prom is such a weird thing to do if you're not graduating. I imagine that you already know the numbers by that point. I don't know how American schools work. You people are fucking weird. Like Stella said, she's going through enough as it is, and surely she doesn't need me being away on top of that. I wonder what Trish needs the feather for though. If she's gonna wear it in her hair, I'm gonna lose my goddamn shit. Because that is A, kind of cool, and B, kind of gross. I'm just saying, Trish, it's kind of fucking gross. Don't wear that. At least clean it. A keepsake, probably. At least I can't really see her trying to summon the dead or anything. <laughs> Trigger. Trisha's grimoire. Are you going to make a fucking voodoo joke, buddy? A little late for that. I'm so lost in thought, I don't realize... I don't even realize as autopilot takes me inside of the classroom. Not until I saw someone sitting atop my desk. Wait, that's just weird. We're only two people in the room right now. How the fuck are you early? Uh, hi... He's stuttering so much, it's really noticeable. Me first. I brace for the worst. At least she's using her words and not a fit. Jesus fucking Christ, what is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Huh? Not what you were expecting? Well, I was expecting to die. I'm not some savage, you know. It feels kind of shitty that the only emotion you're expecting me to show is anger. Sorry. Shut it. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you like femdom, don't you, buddy? Look, it's like, whatever the reason for your transfer, you don't have to tell me. I'm the one who doxes you in the canon timeline. So I guess no one's gonna dox you now. Everyone's got their shit in their past they'd rather be forgetting. Huh. Where have I heard that before? Everyone's fighting their own battles. I might have the sentence one anything, but Trish still manages to catch it. Yeah, something like that. Uh, it's of experience with me. I didn't really get it at the time, and I don't think I fully get it now. Who do you voodoo, Trish? I'm just trying to say that I'm sorry, too. Trish doesn't react for so long, and starting to be afraid I said something wrong. After an unimaginably long time, her mouth curls into a lopsided smile. Truce. On what? What is the fucking truce for? 
Seriously. Like, Trish has been accommodating. She shouldn't have to call a truce. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Truce. From now on, you can at least act like I'm a real person, yeah? Or is it just... Ugh, whatever. I did try. I'm just not very good at this. Talking to pe Talking to girls, in specific. You know, I kind of got like you were a nerd. And you're okay with that? Why wouldn't I be? We're friends. F Trish does not stutter. Right. Anna mostly stutters when he gets into a new line, but he generally speaking gets over it when the momentum gets going, and Trish doesn't stutter. She doesn't work like that. Get out of here, Mosquito. I have one pet Mosquito. He refuses to be nice. One day I'll get him. I got the other one. I'm going to my desk now. You pull yourself together. Sure. Actually, since Reed is gone, can't you just sit next to her? Come talk to me on the Astro Corner after class. Want to wa walk me to the Astro Corner after class? Yes. Splendid. With that, she takes off. But sh uh, it's not until she's basically halfway to a seat that I remember something. Uh, Trish. The expression from Face Me is an embarrassment, though I'm not sure what the latter is for. Because for some reason, this version of Trish is very flimsy. I guess she's emotional, but I don't know. Like, ow. <sighs> it just doesn't. I carefully pull Fang's feather from my pocket and hand it to Trish. She takes it with equal care, biting her lip. This is gross. We don't say anything to each other, especially after a few students stop milling us at the room. Shouldn't, 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 like, your friend do that? Like, you meet up with, ugh, whatever. After class, like, who the fuck is Anna on? After class, just as we agreed, I walked Trish back to the edge of Skin Row. Back from that way forward, it's become a little tradition. Walking to and fro class together. By the end of the week, we pretty much handled basic small talk, even some banter at some points. Though, those spots are quite rare. I'm always afraid that I miss some social cue when I'm, cue when I'm supposed to ask something about niceness and stuff. I still haven't dropped my guard enough to reveal my power level. I hate... Okay, listen. It's perfectly fine to use this term, right? It's fine to bring up the concept, but... It is an awkward term. It's good jargon. It's a shibboleth. Whatever. It's a, it's a fine term. You can't use it. It's This is like the fourth time. It's too many. It's too many for how little it matters. You can use an alternative if you really want to bring it up. But you can't use this specific of jargon this many times. It feels awkward when anime doesn't even come up. Also, it makes him sound like a fucking idiot instead of a moron. It's not good. I got a second like at some point. Awesome. Trish keeps saying that she doesn't want me faking a personality, but I'm still afraid she wants to cut ties if she finds out how much of a big... I mean, considering you apparently look at underage etchy, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad. As for her, I can barely tell what's going on in her head. And the basic goes for anyone else, too. Though in her case, I'm apparently trying to figure it out. Every now and then, I'm trying to eject him with a question that I think will shift the conversation over to a particular topic, but it's no use. Really, I mean. I know it hasn't been that long, and I shouldn't be expecting Trish to fully trust me after these handful of days, but... I want to know. How does she feel about Fang? Is she bottling off her grief and anger or whatever, or does she have an outlet for that? Shouldn't, Fang, shouldn't Trish just be willing to engage with the conversation anyway? You know, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna have a bit of a, a change of pace. Uh, who wants to see a funny picture? Who wants to see a funny picture? First off, please remember, Ro 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 Rosa the egg. It's perfect. She's perfect. Uh, hold on, one minute. As I put some files into the folder machine, um, here we go. Uh, someone just sent me this on Discord, and all I can say is, uh. Time for Teletubbies, I guess. Time for Teletubbies. Shouldn't, shouldn't Trish just be naturally bringing this up? Like, if, if Trish does have this mental connection with you and Fang because of the whole, like, you were there during the school shooting, shouldn't she just be willing to introduce this? Like, you showed her the feather. This should be Trish's initiation, not yours. A real healthy outlet, I mean. God, I hope she does. Disappointment with, disappointment with my subtle tactics is going nowhere. I've almost out outright asked her a few times, but then again, a little truth stands entirely on the premise that we don't pry about personal stuff. Does it? For now, it's had a now blossoming friendship. Gay as it sounds, having a friend is nice enough. This is becoming less romantic because you're kind of like compartmentalizing her as that. 